What's going on everybody? Today we are going to just do a roundabout full review here of the Boker Plus Yokai Liner Lock Tanto Knife. Had it for a while now. Figured we go ahead and give a quick review. So let's first start off with showing some comparisons. The Benchmade Griptilian. You can see that's not exactly a small knife. So let's bring out a bigger knife to compare. And let's bring out the Cold Steel Recon 1. It's definitely, these two knives are definitely in the same range of size for sure. And let's bring out a Spydeco PM2. So yes, you can definitely tell and there's a size difference even though the angle makes it look like the, there's a size difference. There's definitely a size difference between them. The Spydeco being a very great overall carrying size knife. Definitely a big knife, so. Let's get these out of the way here so we can focus on the yokai. No, feels great in the hands. Overall, this knife is pretty good. I still am pretty torn about this hump up here. Doesn't really, for me, doesn't really serve a whole lot of purpose. You really, really extremely difficult to try to thumb flick it. It's possible. But it's just not big enough to really get your fingers in. You can't. I can't spidey flick it. It's definitely the detent's definitely hard for it. The flipper tab works awesome. Definitely deploys it very quickly, very much on spot, pretty much every time. It's pretty very difficult to actually fail it, but it does flip open good. My concern is the lock. Uh, you know the liner lock is kind of protrudes out can be a little easy on your finger if you're kind of working that's the problem I find with liner locks is if you're really kind of working this knife you sometimes can actually unlock it with your finger if you're putting awkward pressure when they when those teeth stick out like that makes it a little easier for you to unlock it when you don't want to unlock it even from the the side that you shouldn't have access from, you can actually have access to it. So, we got a lot of lint there. <laughs> That's, that proves that we've been carrying it. So, but other than that, like I said, pretty nice knife overall, especially for the money, which I forget even how much I paid for it at this point. But lockup is still pretty good. There is no wiggle, no nothing. Very secure lock up ergos it feels great in hand like i said my i kind of minus this bump here which kind of maybe forces you back on the knife a lot more maybe that's the intentions of it i'm not really sure sometimes it's just the thing is if you want to choke up on it and have better control for a little more tighter x you know access to things it just makes it almost impossible. There's no jumping there or anything. So. so those are kind of my two little downfalls. But other than that, handle material, which I forget. Was, I think it's G10. I don't know. Feels good in hand, though. Does it really not too slippery or anything like that. The blade design, very nice. Not too extremely thick. When you get down to let's see if we can get a thickness on it. So just under four millimeters, you know, fairly thick. But it's a big knife, so you're probably not going to be doing extremely fine detail work with this knife anyway so when you get right down to it the size and thickness of it probably really won't matter your real overall size is with nine inches with everything said and done with your skull crusher glass break or whatever you want to call that it's you know it's okay. It would, I guess, serve the purpose if it needed to, to break glass, if you needed to break glass with it. 
not excessively sharp or anything. The backspacer is nice. Uh, you know, the lanyard's okay. You have a fair amount sticking out of your pocket, as you can tell, and you only have one screw holding the pocket clip in, but it is recessed in, and it is only one side, right side tip up carry only. So other than that, if you can get beyond that, I don't mind it. I don't mind having a little knife sticking out of the pocket because I like to be able to pull the knife out of my pocket, especially when I'm at work. I like that. So other than that, overall, knife feels really good in hand. Pretty much all grips need be. Very, very nice traction on it. You're not too slippery at all. So other than that, the build quality is very nice. Pretty smooth on closing. So overall, pretty nice knife. Like I said, I think this knife is, I wanna say, I, I can't even remember. I think it's about 80 bucks or something, 100 bucks or something like that. Maybe, um, maybe 50 bucks, either way. 50 bucks, probably definitely worth it if you want a nice size big knife for some aggressive things. I have actually used this knife a bunch of times. It's got a pretty good edge on it still, and I have used it. I wouldn't say it was the best edge from a manufacturer at all, but it's definitely not dull by any stretch of the imagination. So there you guys go. Just a quick basic look at the... Boker Plus Yokai, pretty good overall knife, D2. I do believe, like I said, I think this was 50 bucks or something like that. So it, for 50 bucks, it's probably worth throwing some money at and checking out. So there you guys go. Have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.